Hey everybody, it's Katie. I'm here with my January wrap up and my February TBR. Um, so I'm going to kind of dive right into it. I actually read a lot more books this month than I thought I would and I read books that I didn't put in my original January TBR and didn't read some of the books that I did put in my January TBR, which, you know, I guess is kind of to be expected. So here we go. The first book from January that I read, I actually finished on the 2nd of January, and that was The Selection by Kira Cast. I actually do have the book, but I lent it to my sister-in-law, so I'm just showing you a picture of the cover. So. so the second book that I read in January was the novella that goes in between The Selection and The Elite, which are the two books right now that are out in the Selection series by Kira Cast. So I read The Prince. The third book that I read is an audiobook that I finished up that I had started in December and just did not get finished, and that was Nightshade by Andrea Kramer. I really didn't like this book very much. Um, I have a written review that I will link in the bottom. I'm not going to do a video review of this. Um, so book number four that I read was, again, another Kira Cass book, and that was The Elite. I lent this one out with the selection to my sister-in-law. So I do own both of these books, but don't have them when I wanted to film this video, so I'm just showing you pictures. Book number five that I did was another audiobook. It was The Power of Six by Pitticus Lore. I actually got this out of the library, so I've already had to return it, but it was an audiobook that I did. Book number six that I did was Fallen in Love by Lauren Kate. This is a collection of short stories um, that go along with the Fallen series. And this book was actually on my TBR along with the Kira Cass books and Power of Six. <clears throat> book number seven that I did was another audiobook, Juliet Immortal. This was good. It was It's actually a rework of the Romeo and Juliet story. Book number eight I did was another audiobook that I had really been looking forward to doing, and it was um, Everneath by Brody Ashton. I loved this book. I want to actually buy these books. These covers are just super gorgeous. But again, another book that I got out of the library. I did a lot of library books this month. Um, this book was actually not on my original TBR, but my... I had put a hold on it through the library and it came through this month so I kind of devoured this and went through it really quick so I decided to read it. Because I loved Everneath so much I purchased the short novella that goes along with it which is Never Fall. This is a story about Cole. Book number 10 was also not on my original TBR but because again because I loved Everneath and Nevermore I ran out and got um, Everbound, which is book two in the series. Um, I got this from the library, so I actually just finished this the other day and really, really enjoyed this book. I have two more books that I'm going to include on my January um, books read, even though I haven't quite finished them because I will be finishing them today. And the first one is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I am more than halfway through this book and I plan on finishing it today and since today is the 31st of January it will count for my January book reading list so this will be book number 11. The last book number 11 that I'm going to include in here is again one that I haven't quite finished yet but I will be finishing it probably either today or tomorrow which is kind of cheating because tomorrow is February but I'm putting it on here anyway. So that is Sarah Destin, The Moon and More. This is actually the first book that I've ever done by her. Um, and I'm enjoying it. It's kind of a slower-ish listen, but it's good for me at work because it's something that I can easily listen to when I'm doing what I need to do at work. So that is book number 12. So I did a total of 12 books this month, which I am kind of amazed at. Um, so, yeah, so I'm pretty proud that I got that many books read. So I have a collection of books over here that I'm going to do for my TBR for February. I actually have three books that were on my original TBR that I did not read. Um, the first one is Shiver by Maggie Stavader. I started this book and I'm about a third of the way through it, but I'm finding it really slow. I'm having a hard time getting into this book, so I'm going to put it back on my February TBR um, and try and read this one again and see if I can maybe get 
into this book a little bit better. But so that is a one. So this is the first book that's going to be on my February TBR, but I may not finish it in February if I can't really get into it. So there's this one. The next book that was on my January TBR that I did not get finished or did not actually even start was The Shadow Falls. The the, it's a bind up of the first two books. This is by C.C. Hunter. So this is Born at Midnight and Awake at Dawn. Um, I picked this book up and started to try and read it and just kind of, it's a book, it's the first bind up that I've really read. So the size of it kind of intimidated me a little bit and I ended up putting it down and picking something else up and hadn't really even started it. So I didn't put it down because I didn't like it. I just kind of couldn't find a comfortable way to hold it, <laughs> to be honest. So I have to get into this. So I want to get into this. So I'm going to put this back on my February TBR. But again, I'm going to have to figure out the best way to read this very large paperback book. So we're going to put that on there. The last book that was on my January TBR that I didn't get finished is The Isle of Night uh, by Veronica Wolf. This is the first book in the Watchers series. It's a short little book. This was the last book that I put on my TBR that I said that I didn't know whether I'd get to it or not, and I didn't get to it because I ended up getting to three other books that weren't on my list instead of this one. So, so I'm putting this back on my February TBR. The next three books for my January TBR are library books, so they will probably be the first couple books that I read um, after I finish um, The Fault in My Stars today. So the first one is Sweet Evil by Wendy Higgins. Higgins? Higgins, yeah. Wendy Higgins. This is a Fallen Angels book, and I think this cover is just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to probably, this probably will be the first book that I read of the three library books that I have left. So this will probably be the second book that I read in February. The third library book that I have is a Sarah, another Sarah Destin novel. This one is Just Listen. Um, so depending on how I end up feeling about this one when I finish, I may or may not read this. Since it's a library book, I won't necessarily feel terrible if I don't end up picking it up before I have to return it. It's probably not something that I would necessarily renew if I hadn't finished it. So Hopefully it's good, so I will put... <clears throat> so yeah, so this is the next one. This is just a little contemporary novel, so that is... So that's the third library book that I have. The first audiobook that I'm going to do this month is actually one that I started in December and have been waiting... I didn't get the chance to finish it before I had to return it to the library and I had to put it back on hold because there were other people that had it and I just got it back. So that is going to be The Dark Light by Leslie Livingston. I don't have a picture of that so I'll insert a picture here. And so I'm going to do that one. I'm, I think I'm about halfway through that one. I'm going to have to figure out where I was um, to finish that one up. So I will finish that one up this month in February. The next audiobook that I'll do is Life is a Witch. Um, this is the first book in a life, in a Life's a Witch series. I am not going to try and pronounce this, the author's name. It's Brittany... I don't know how to say your last name, so I'll insert it right here, hopefully. Um, so yes, so I will listen to this one. I'm sure I do a few other audiobooks, but it all just depends on what I can get out of my library. So we'll have to see it in my February wrap-up what other audiobooks I got to listen to. I have three more books that I'm going to put on this TBR list, and we'll see how many I get through. One, two of them are going to be rereads for me, and one of them is a new book. So the new book I have is, um, the new book I have is Seven Messages by Stuart Lewis. This is a contemporary book about. So this book is about a girl named Luna whose mom passes away and she finds her mother's cell phone um, after she died and it has seven voice messages on it and her and her neighbor listen to the messages and start to find out the truth about her mom's death and it may not be as nice as she originally thought. So I'm going to try and read this. It's not a super long book. It's about it's just under 300 pages. So hopefully this will be a quick read. So I am looking forward to reading this one.
The first reread that I have for this month is uh, New Moon by Mindori Snyder. This is the first book in the uh, Orin trilogy. I talked about these in my book haul from my bookshelf for my book boxes. Um, there is, I have three of these and I really want to reread them. I read them a long time ago. They, um, so I, re I have read these, I read these a long time ago, but I really want to do reviews for you guys on these because I really enjoyed them or I remember that I really, re really enjoyed them. So I'm hoping to reread them because I don't remember enough of them to be able to do a good review. Plus I really enjoy them. So I'm going to reread this. Next book that I'm going to reread is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I have reread these books over and over and over again, but I've always done them in an audiobook form. I haven't actually picked the hardback books up in quite a while and I've kind of made the decision that I'd like to reread the series this year and so I'm going to start with book one this month and I know I will just devour through this book but I haven't sat down and read these in a long time so I'm really looking forward to diving back into this world. So. so yes, so those are the books that I'm planning on reading in February and the ones that I got finished in January. Tell me below what you're planning on reading this coming month and if you've read any of the books that I'm planning on reading, let me know what you thought of them down below and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>